I love you, Jan. I love you. It was his emotions that took all the spotlight of the night, but the game plan from Gianmarco Pozzeco was just as epic as his antics off the court. Before the game, everyone thought this was a nightmare matchup and the end of the road for Italy, since they don't have a real center on their roster, while Serbia has Nikola Jokic. How we were all wrong. On Sunday evening, Italy delivered the biggest upset of Eurobasket 2022, and in this video we are going to get into the details of this stunning win and how Italy exposed the two-time NBA MVP defensively. Pazako's kind of affected them. Here's Spisu again. Good! Italy! Can you believe it? Pozzeco's game plan was obvious, use the small ball lineup to his advantage and involve Jokic in as many pick and pops as possible. Nicola is on the line of the screen, Polnar pops and Fontecchio cuts from the 45, putting the low man defender in trouble. He has to choose, which one of two Italians to guard. They move the ball quickly and Jokic is late to recover to contest Fontecchio's midrange. Italy targeted Nicola on every single possession and here the pick and pop with a 45 cut worked perfectly again. Lucic helps for a moment on Meli and thinks Mitic is going to take Polonara, but they miscommunicate and Italy score an easy two. However, in the first quarter Italy were quite overwhelmed by the physicality of Serbia and it took some time for them to adjust. Kalinic here dives to the rim, Fontecchio is not expecting his seal so close to the basket and allows forward the first points of the game. To illustrate how Italy adjusted as the game went on, look at the same play in the third quarter with Simone ready to rumble and front the post. The possession gets stuck and Marinkovic later turns the ball over. But back in the beginning the first 10 minutes weren't easy at all for the Azzurri. Jokic was dominating in the paint getting one offensive rebound after another. Euroleague MVP Mitic showed his speed and direction changing skills. Overall the pick and roll between the Joker and Vasa dealt many problems to the Italians. Here Meli switches on Mitic and the point guard attacks the rim. Everyone collapses to the paint which leaves Marinkovic open for a free and Serbians have an early 7 point lead. What kept Italians close in the first half was a clear vision of how they should play offensively. The small ball lineup might experience problems defensively in the post but oh boy did it torch Nikola Jokic on the other side of the court. Here they switched things up a bit by playing pick and roll with a single tack on the weak side and Meli rolling to the rim. Jokic finds himself in no man's land and no one is ready to rotate on Meli who has a runaway until the rim. Forward was outstanding finishing the game with 21 points, 6 rebounds and 4 assists and overwhelmed Jokic with his pick and pops. Italy weren't going away from their plan at all with Meli popping and making the right decisions whether to drive or to shoot almost every time. Yet defensively Italy couldn't find an answer to Jokic and Mitch's pick and rolls and dropped into a 14 point deficit early in the second quarter. The big man once again demonstrated his amazing touch around the rim, finishing the toughest imaginable shots after the contact. It was a direct battle between Meli and Jokic of who is going to stop scoring first and Nicola wasn't bothered at all. He nailed two free pointers in a row after popping on pick and rolls and it started to seem absurd that Serbia is not changing anything defensively. Instead Jokic went to the bench and their offense slowed down. Mitic Milutinov pick and roll is not the same and it set up a transition opportunity for the Italians with the Jura Jazz newest signing Simone Fontecchio joining the party late. A give and go basket first, then a free after a wonderful ball rotation from his teammates and finally a pull up free after the dribble. All of a sudden, it's a 5 point game heading into the break. Fontecchio, count it! The Italian I mean, that's can fire it up. Great shot. It's a 3 point game Mike. Liazzuri kept the momentum going by targeting Jokic once again. But this time they mix up the second side action with Polonara cutting from baseline and Meli delivering yet another beauty under the basket. We can't ignore the fact that Jokic hurt the Italian defense as much as they hurt his. Here Joker has two options to choose from and sees Meli going under the cross screen, lifts up and knocks down a triple. Apart from this one mistake, for one night Meli was the minister of interior defense for Italy. What a play here by not jumping to contest Jokic's shot, staying on the ground and blocking Lucic in a 1v2 situation. What happened next was the critical point of the match. 
Tonut gets called for a foul and the Italian bench reacts to it hotly, like Italians used to do. They get teed up and Pozzeco is automatically ejected since he already had one. But before leaving the bench, the Atomic Fly hugs and kisses all his players and the staff, displaying a unique moment of team unity and passion. He was spotted crying few seconds later, showing just how much it meant for him and his players. You can't deny the fact that it influenced the Italian's players in a good way. Something clicked in their heads as they added another gear to their energy, especially for Marcos Piso, point guard who has scored 19 points in all five group stage matches delivered the performance of a lifetime for the national team, not without the Serbians' help. Mitic forgets about him for a second here and that's just enough time for Spisu to get open. Italians then demonstrate a textbook free on two fast break, with Fontecchio creating a great shot instead of a good shot. Later we see another pick and pop against Jokic and Mitic gambling to get a steal, leaving Spisu for the third triple in three possessions. Italy is making the crucial run of the game and Jokic goes to the bench for his usual rest. But without him and Mitic to start the fourth quarter, look how Serbian's possession look like. At this moment, I can't help but think about this guy named Teodosic sitting in front of the TV at home. He's not bad as a creator, if I remember correctly, right? Defensively, the team of Pesic aren't simply showing the same sense of urgency as Italy are. Mitic gambles once again and everyone knows this step back by Spisu is going in. The Serbians seem to be thinking that this game would somehow come to them, with Mitic calmly trying to maneuver through screens. Chef Spisu doesn't forgive and the game is slowly going away from the Serbians' hands. And shockingly, their best player, the two-time NBA MVP, is still on the bench. He did not get up from it until the 6 minute mark and the Italians used that to full extent. The amount of mental errors defensively Serbians made in this game was another mind-boggling thing. Here Polonara was allowed to drive with his strong left hand. Also, it was just that kind of night for Italians where it seemed impossible for them to miss. Polonara adds the lead with a 3-pointer from way downtown and then saves a broken possession with Jokic finally on the court with a step back 3 which sends the crowd into complete frenzy. Steps back, Polonara, good! Italy! Playing out of their skins! And while their offense was the main catalyst of this run, Italians closed it out with some excellent defensive sequences. Jokic was trying everything he had left, including this insane 4-point play in transition. But Marco Spisu continued to outplay the EuroLeague MVP, first stealing his pockets and then throwing his body in front of him and drawing an offensive foul. Nicolo Melli then blocked Jokic's turnaround jumper, cementing his player of the game status and Simone Fontecchio put the dagger in Serbian hearts with his active hands reading Jokic's pass and then finishing a circus shot on the other end. And he gets a shot off! Oh. Unbelievable! Fontecchio! And it feels like the basketball gods smiling on Italy right now. With this victory, Italians proved once again that miracles happen for a reason. A smart plan and a big heart can overcome any individual talent and Gianmarco Pozzeco is exactly the coach who has these two things installed in his team's culture. I'm curious, what's gotten your attention the most throughout this game? Can Italy make it to the end? Leave your opinions in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video.